houseboats are pretty awesome. We're in Portland today, which is where I was born all those many years ago. At the time, my parents were living on a houseboat, which is less like a boat and more like a house that just floats. The neighborhoods are awesome and have a lot of really cool things about them. I don't quite remember what the place looked like, so we're on a hunt of all the houseboat neighborhoods in the area, and it's an awesome thing to see, so let's go take a look. We've been driving up the Oregon coast, and Portland is one of the cool stops. I've come back and seen the city since I lived there a couple times, but it's been many, many years. This coastal drive has been fantastic with all the good footage and cool ocean breezes, fresh air and all that jazz. Then when you leave the beach area and you get to drive through beautiful foggy forests, two top tier biomes to explore and adore. Oregon is really nice, especially this, uh, this rural coast area. It's very, very beautiful, lots of hills. You've got that very northern thing of having a tiny little coffee shop on the on like the street corners and things like that like a little tiny drive through which you really only see in the north I guess because it is the only place where they get cold or I mean Washington and Seattle are also known for coffee and that's right here is that a little better is that a little clearer oh man yeah my lens was smudged what a bummer I don't know how long that was, but I looked at like, hey, that looks kind of foggy in that thing, and it's not very foggy outside, so what's going on? Just get like the, uh, the smoky and the misty mountains, clouds coming off the mountains and trees, lots of green foliage. Now it's actual fog. Something about the forest aesthetic makes me want to get a cabin with a fireplace. It's probably one of my favorite environments. There was that one Minecraft mod too that I liked uh, with the Twilight Forest type things. That was pretty cool. Most people have heard about Portland, Oregon or watched the show Portlandia. It's the birthplace of hipsters and weird things. I'm not sure what's in the Portland water to give that population such a unique perspective. Maybe lead. Portland is also a city in Maine and although Portland, Oregon is more famous, it was actually named after the one in Maine. At the turn of the 20th century, the city had a reputation as one of the most dangerous port cities in the world. A hub for organized crime and racketeering. There's your trivia for the day. This reminds me of the bridge in, uh, it's not Cleveland, what is it? Where is it? Cincinnati. There's a bridge in Cincinnati like this. My parents lived on the Columbia River, which is not in Columbia, it's in Oregon. It's kind of near the airport. So we're on our way there now to see my first houseboat. I mentioned it before, but when you're picturing in your head, picture a regular house and not like a yacht. There's also a boathouse, which is different than a houseboat. The difference being a houseboat is for people and a boathouse is a house for boats. I really like the density of the community. The cool floating docks and the little porches and things. Parking isn't great if you have to bring in groceries or if it's raining or something like that, which is, of course, it rains very frequently in Portland. But the density and the neighborhoods and the boardwalks are all, it, it lends to a very cool environment. This is my favorite one. It's just like this tiny little cabin. That's cool. Maze, I think it's the one there maybe somewhere. I'm gonna have to swim for it. That's not it, is it? I was just down there. It says 11. After what seems like an hour, I've navigated to the right one. Google Maps has the address about half a mile down, so here we are, my first houseboat. This green looking one. It's two stories with a cool porch out back. It looks like they repainted it a few years ago too because it looks pretty fresh. I'll snap some quick pics for my parents and explore a little bit more. This little garden potted plant moss thing is pretty cool looking. and All the decorations around here are awesome, you've got the nautical themes obviously, and the wildlife. I really dig it. 
and uh, that's it for Portland. <laughs> uh, Portland's got some really nice places and some cool touristy things to do if you're into that. I'm not really. Uh, it's not so much my vibe. <laughs> uh, but what's awesome about traveling is that I get to explore and I get to feel the zeitgeist of all these different areas. I've traveled a lot in my life and have mostly felt that life is the same everywhere. And I still think that's true. We have the same problems, the same concerns, same hopes and dreams, but what's different with location is just a little bit of a flavor of uniqueness. And they say variety is the spice of life, so I guess that's what's good about traveling. Turn right. And turn left. Turn left. Planet Fitness. Where I'm gonna take a shower. And lift some weights. Gonna bench two plates. Almost rhymes. Some dude lost his shoe! No! Shoe! No! Well, here I am in Portland. I looked on the map and it said there was some free campsites about 25 miles away. And it said it'd take about 40 minutes to get there. I'm like, okay, it's a little in the mountains. And then for some reason, the GPS now says it'll take two hours to get there. And it looks like I just passed the, like another park that said parking pass required at all times, but this was the free campsite, and I think I'm going way past that. And then once I passed the campsite, I saw it said road closed in three miles, so I don't know what's up with this. Maybe it's closed in the winter time, even though it, it's not really winter, it's still fall, so we will see. We will see. I might be turning around and finding another Walmart, which is too bad because I wanted to find a camp camp spot, like a real place I could like, you know, hang outside in the for a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Private driveway. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'm not doing this. So let's go back to the drawing board. I couldn't find the campsite, so we'll head back into town real quick and head to our trusty old neighborhood Walmart. Always a decent place to park for the night. Uh, technically this Walmart here says no overnight parking, but since I'm stealth camping it, I should be okay. Let's see if anyone else has camped there, you know, there's always safety in numbers. I'm with my homies at Walmart. There looks like there's two normal trucks, an RV, three semis, and then there's another RV right here. Should be good. Ah, uh, I just saw a cop drive by. I think he kept going. Shoot. I'm sure he can't possibly knock on all these vans. I mean, we got a ton of people here. Ah, uh, I don't wanna move, it's already late. It's already like 10 o'clock. I wanna go to bed. And I guess just in case I'll put my shoes back on and uh, you know, just prepare to leave if I have to. I'll let you know. But it didn't end up being a problem. Let's get some good rest and get back on the voyage tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys.